guys so welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be another tutorial and I just recently picked up two Milani eyeshadows and these are the Vela Eyes gel powder eyeshadow I have the Vela pink and then I have this Vela emerald and as you can see they are gorgeous colors they're like in a shimmery finish you have this light baby pink eyeshadow and also you have this really beautiful and gorgeous grimala gr <laughs> green emerald eyeshadow i think there are a total of 34 so i'm not mistaken and i think they're going to be permanent but the ones that really stood out for me were these two because i feel like i don't have anything like this especially this one i picked them up tonight and ironically it kind of sort of matches what i am wearing today i have some sort of like as you can see somewhere here it's pretty much actually almost similar this like light pastel pink color on my green i realized that by the time i got home so i was like yep this is a sign that it's meant to be for me to do and show you guys what i came up with so you guys can hopefully recreate it so without further ado if you guys want to see how i came up with this look then just keep on watching so as usual we know we have to prime our eyes and I'll be using my NYX eyeshadow base like that we're gonna go ahead and use transition colors I love using my NYC and my NYC I love using my NYX matte eyeshadows I like to start first with the lightest shade which is getting rubbed off because you guys know that I love using these two eyeshadows and I don't get sick of it. I will start with this color which it right now it's matching pretty much my skin tone and it's called Blame It On Midnight. And as usual I like to combine this with my fluffy blending brush by Coastal Scents. And I'm only going to apply this right above my crease. And next we're taking Densitize which this one has a little bit of more of a red undertone and I love this for the crease and I'm gonna be using my Coastal Sense BRC N08 which is more like a dense fluffy brush and I like this because this is amazing and perfect for the crease I'm like focusing the eyeshadow right on the socket of my eye and I like to start blending start blending it upwards next we're going to be focusing on the two Milani eyeshadows that I am like obsessed with right now and it's number 13 Vela Pink now I'm going to go ahead and use my elf eyeshadow C brush and we're going to apply this right on our lid Next we're going to be using this other Milani eyeshadow and this is a beautiful green emerald eyeshadow on my lower lash line. I'm going to be using this dual brush by Eco Tools and I'm going to use this side of the brush. So for my waterline I like to use this nice green emerald color and it's called Caribbean Sea for the Mali Beauty eyeliner and I'm going to apply this on my waterline. But you can see how nice the two look. Amazing. The two look like a great couple. Okay I'm going to be doing the same thing with this black eyeliner by Mali Beauty and I'm just going to tight line my eye. Next, we need to focus on liquid eyeliner, and I am like obsessed with this. And this is like my one of my holy grail liquid eyeliners. It's a drugstore, it's the NYC liquid eyeliner. And let's go ahead and do a nice wing line. If you want them to pop, you can always wet the eyeshadow a little bit. You can use a little bit of water or you can just like one of those baby wipes and just like wet your brush and just, you know, go ahead and make sure that those eyeshadows really pop. I love wetting my eyeshadows because I just do and especially these colors, I mean, you can't blame me for that.
Now for my outer wing right here, I like to extend the green emerald eyeshadow because why not? <laughs> so I'm just gonna extend it right here. Um, going back to the, the Caribbean Sea eyeliner that I applied on my waterline, just like I did with the eyeshadow, and I extended it right underneath my wing right here. I'm going to do the same thing because I really want to make this pop even more. Then I'm going back with this pastel pink eyeshadow and we're just gonna highlight Now to highlight my brow bone, I only like to use just concealer right now. This one is my Eve Pearl Dual Salmon Concealer Treatment in Tan. So for lashes, we're going to curl our lashes first, then we're going to apply your favorite mascara, and this is my L'Oreal False Fiber lashes and we're also going to apply some false lashes by Ardell. For my face I already applied my primer, I have my foundation and I'm just gonna quickly let you know what I use. My Tarte Poreless, Slate Poreless Primer, something like that. And my CoverGirl stayed at last in Classic Tan. For concealer I use also my NYX HD Concealer in Glow. And for a matte bronzer, I use the Milani 07 Sienna Baked Bronzer. Now for blush, I'm going to be using my NYX Matte Blush. And this one is called Cinnam. Cinnam. <laughs> okay, it looks something like this. Next for lips, I'm going to be lining my lips with this NYX Lip Liner, which is called Dolly Pink. And for lips, I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Fergie lipstick, and this one is called VA Pink. With for gloss, I'm going to be topping it off with my NYX lip gloss because I feel like my lipstick could be a little bit too much. So let's tone it down with this gloss that it's peaches and cream. And you know what I'm gonna say, we have to really tone this down, this glowing is doing is going up in here. And I love using my Neutrogena, Neutrogena Shine Control Powder. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. You guys know that I'm like a junkie when it comes to eyeshadows. I have so many. And of course I had to pick these two up. I mean if I was me I would probably pick up the 34 eyeshadows like you know on this line. But I think they're going to be permanent so I think I have time to collect the rest of these eyeshadows. But anyways I would definitely recommend them. I hope you really, really enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. Thank you for all your comments for my new subscribers. Don't forget to leave your comments down below if you have any questions. Or let me know how you like this. And also, what are the colors you have? Don't forget to follow me on my social media. I have my Instagram, my Facebook, and also my Pinterest, which I will leave the links down below. And uh, until the next time, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Mwah. Besitos. Bye.